Eric Mwada from Mwada.com. Let's take a look at TRXC and we are looking at a stock here irrespective of the fundamentals. We have a story here where the stock just does not seem to be able to hold on to gains. Especially if you consider that since 2016, the most recent market low, so from about here, the general market has gone on to record all-time highs. But you can see the stock has not necessarily participated in the general market to move higher. And like I was saying here, irrespective of the fundamental story, here is a stock that does not seem to be able to hold on to gains. Just does not seem to have what it takes to sustain a rally. And even here you can see it pull back. Now we're seeing a push higher. Given how it's been trading over the last so many years, you can easily anticipate the next major trend here to be down. Now this is from 2011 to the current middle of 2018 live trading. Now take a look, if you go back even beyond that to 2007, you'll notice we still have the same behavior in the stock just does not seem to be able to hold on to gains. This is just how it trades. So, what we've established here is a stock that has what I call an ugly looking chart. Problem with stocks like this is that even when the conditions are perfect, they just are unable to perform. So what I'm saying here is Unfortunately, for a long-term holding, it's not the way to go. Take a look here also if you go back to as far back as 1998. You can see this very all-over-the-place movement. So the trend was established way back. Now, if we go and take a look at the weekly chart, we can see on the weekly chart again you have this spike eventually gives up all those gains and now we have another spike the risk here is that the next major trend especially if the current breakout above the recent weekly closing high fails so let's say if it moves above 3.75 that would be a sell signal because it would be giving up the breakout attempt suggesting that it is running out of energy and given the trading pattern going back many many years chances are after this type of a move the next major swing trade is going to be down now if you take a look at the daily on the daily we can see an improvement in prices coming with declining technical strength. We also see that the RSI has failed to hold above 69.1 during the most recent move to new highs here. So that negative divergence sets the stage for a pullback. Now this is also reflected on the hourly. And on the hourly we see the same type of pattern here. Improvements to higher highs. But this is coming where the RSI is not improving, we have the RSI making lower highs. That definitely is negative divergence. That sets the stage for a pullback. Now keep in mind if you are timing this from a short term perspective, the key is to wait, for example, for this line to break. This would be the line to watch for. A break of this line suggests that the down action in terms of the next major swing trade is in play otherwise the best thing to do is go back to that weekly chart wait for the stock to break down below 375 which, which would be suggesting a failed breakout on the weekly which might give another layer of anticipation that the next major trend for this stock is down ultimately for long-term holders the problem here is not even the the short-term price action it is the long-term behavior of the stock going back to the 90s. Stock's been very unstable. And even in the 
most recent years, you can see that the stock continues to show that type of all over the place price action. Not a good one to hold for the long term, in my opinion, due to the way it trades. Eric Mwadha with Mwadha.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E, I see. S, and so it is. Mwah.